Flo from Progressive has one of television's most recognizable faces, thanks to her spunky, over-the-top persona. But Stephanie Courtney, the woman behind the character, is more than just her iconic, contagiously peppy commercial character. Stephanie Courtney was born and raised in New York in 1970. Courtney was the youngest of three children, and she and her family lived 30 miles outside of Manhattan. Growing up, she was heavily influenced by her mother, who was a singer. Her mom's love of the arts really helped shape Courtney's love for all things musical theater. In 2015, she told Cosmopolitan, From an early age, I was influenced by the greats. My mom was a big fan of musicals, and my dad loved film noir and comedies. These amazing movies from the 30s to the 60s were always playing in our house, and I had heard every Broadway recording. All throughout her school years, Courtney would audition for various musicals and plays and really enjoyed theater, according to the Washington Post. Thus, Courtney knew that she wanted to do something in the entertainment world when she got older, though her dad insisted that she go to college. Courtney obliged, though once she had the realization that she could have a career in the arts, that's exactly what she set her mind on. Fulfilling her dad's wishes, Stephanie Courtney enrolled at Binghamton University and decided to major in English. During her time in college, Courtney kept on acting, auditioning for various productions at the school, even landing a lead role in The Crucible. So she moved to the city and enrolled at the Neighborhood Playhouse School of Theater, where dozens of other well-known actors studied before her. It was also around this time that Courtney started doing stand-up comedy, a different way to hone her skills and work on her stage presence. While chatting with Backstage, Courtney recalled a point in time when her manager suggested she move to Los Angeles. Angeles, and so she did. Continuing on her journey to fame, Courtney joined the Groundlings and kept on doing comedy. When her manager suggested she start looking into booking commercials, she decided to give it a go. She told Backstage, She worked hard to get me a commercial agent. I booked a really good one early on. That one just happened to be with a major beer brand. And Stephanie Courtney had a lot to celebrate when her very first national commercial for Bud Light ran during the Super Bowl in 1999. Paper or plastic? Paper. Over the next several years, Stephanie Courtney auditioned for dozens of television and movie roles and landed some really small parts in shows like Everybody Loves Raymond and ER. It wasn't until 2004 that she landed her first recurring role in an animated series called Tom Goes to the Mayor, which aired on Adult Swim. Courtney lent her voice to a number of characters, including Joy Peters. Could have sworn there was some funny business going on in here. <laughs> In December 2004, she also starred in the episode Rats Off To Ya, which featured an awful earworm of a song. That song and music video featured none other than Courtney, who sang and danced with a giant rat. Because, hey, why not? Courtney starred in a total of 27 episodes of the show, which ended in 2006. From there, it was on to the next for Courtney. With a few more small roles under her belt, things really started to look up for the actor, who went on to star in more national commercial spots. I met a man on the bus today. I shook his hand. He'll never see his family again. Years after having a non-speaking role in the Bud Light commercial, Stephanie Courtney landed a bigger role, this time in an ad for Skittles. Courtney was one of three people in the television spot, and this time, she even got to speak. Hey Tim, show Joel how everything you touch turns into Skittles. Courtney has also appeared in ads for companies like McDonald's, Glade, and General Mills, and was almost cast as Toyota Jan for the carmaker's ads, but the role was given to Laurel Kopic. However, Courtney's biggest break in her career would come in 2007, when she landed her most recognizable role as Flo in the Progressive commercials. The year was 2007, and Stephanie Courtney's life was about to change forever. What started out like any other audition ended up being the pinnacle of Courtney's career. She went to the audition for Progressive, thinking that maybe she'd get a callback for a role in the ad, but it turned out to be something bigger. Sure enough, Courtney landed the gig, and Flo made her television debut about a year later. Look at the deal we just got him. That's a new pair of shoes. Yeah, or a big tricked out name tag. Interestingly, the producers behind the commercial didn't actually think that Flo would become their official spokesperson. It was after Courtney filmed the first ad that they realized they had struck gold and they wanted Flo to stick around. Progressive CMO at the time, Jeff Charney, explained, That character was completely unplanned, but we saw it and we jumped on it. She became the center of this ad sitcom. It took us a couple of spots, but we started to move the focus on her. In the time since, Courtney has starred in more than 100 television spots for the insurance giant. Stephanie Courtney is a fairly private person with no active official public-facing social media account to be found. However, she has previously shared a bit about her personal life. While working with the Groundlings in Los Angeles long before she joined forces with Progressive, Courtney met her now husband, Scott Kalanok, who worked in lighting. 
In 2009, she told People, Every crazy old lady character I ever walked out as on that stage had beautiful peachy gem lighting because he liked me. The two started talking and dating, and they eventually fell in love. Courtney and Kalanok also have one child together, though Courtney admits that they waited a bit before starting a family, telling Cosmopolitan, I booked Flo when I was just about to turn 38. I got married at 35. I had my kid at 40. I'm a late bloomer, but it tastes just as sweet when it's late. I definitely was a calmer person getting these things later in life. While Progressive definitely keeps Stephanie Courtney busy, she still makes time for other opportunities that come her way. For example, she played the role of Essie Carp on The Goldbergs from 2018 until the show was canceled in 2023. Although Courtney only starred in 30-something episodes, it was her longest recurring role to date. In February 2023, Entertainment Weekly confirmed that ABC would end the series after its 10th season, which wrapped in May 2023. As far as what's next for Courtney, we're certain that we'll be seeing a lot more of her on television, if not in a progressive of commercial than perhaps on another sitcom. Either way, Courtney has come a very long way from her time doing stand-up comedy on a small stage in Los Angeles. These days, Flo's estimated net worth is at $6 million, raking in about $2 million a year, with about half of that believed to come directly from Progressive. Wow. Wow, I know. I say it louder.